Hi everyone, welcome to Church at Home. My name is Savannah and I'm so excited you're here with me today for church. I just love church so much. We call our kids church Saddleback Kids or SK. And SK is so much fun. I always laugh and play games with my friends, learn amazing things about Jesus and the Bible, and I get to worship God. Those are some of the important reasons God made the church. That makes me think about our big idea. At SK, I have fun. Let's say that together on three. One, two, three. At SK, I have fun. That's right, SK is so fun. And one of my favorite fun ways to worship Jesus is to sing songs to Him. I love this song because it reminds us that we are all created by God and He wants us to be in His family. Let's sing it together. Let's clap our hands together. We're gonna to sing this Children of God song. We're gonna sing, we are loved, we are forgiven, we are free. He said, let there be light. He said, let there be light. He put the stars in the sky. And it was good in his sight. Everyone go like this. He put the fish in the sea. And you created me. To the focus of your love. Let's sing because of your love. Because of your love. Sing that out again. Because of your love. We this way. Your grace rescued me so we can praise and sing a savior and king. Let's sing out because of your love. Because of your love. Sing that again. Because of your love. We are Love me. Everyone go like this. God, you love me. It's why you made me. God, you love me. It's why you forgave me. God, you love me. It's why you made me. God, you love me for me. Everyone, let's sing We Are Loved as loud as you can. We are loved. love that song. SK is a place where we are all loved by God. God wants everyone to be in His family. I love spending time with my church family. We get to play games, sing songs, learn about Jesus, and spend time with our friends. I can't wait to hear a story about one of Jesus' friends who He did amazing and fun things with. There's a story about it in this special book right here. It's the Bible. The Bible is God's special book for us. It is a book from God that tells us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. One of those stories is called Jesus Calls Peter. Let's put on our listening ears and thinking caps to find out more about it. Stories of the Bible, Jesus Calls Peter. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus grew up in Nazareth hey, and was baptized by John in the Jordan River. 
Jesus began teaching about God's love and healing people of their sickness. One day, John saw Jesus walking by and told the people around him that Jesus was the Lamb of God. One of the people standing with him was Andrew, whose brother was Simon, who would later be known as Peter. Andrew went to find his brother and said, We have found the Christ! Whoa! Ray? Come on! Simon went with Andrew and met Jesus. Uh-huh. I'm Simon. Jesus looked at Simon and said, Your name is Simon, son of John. Yes, it is. But you will be called Peter. Uh, okay. On another day, Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, and lots of people crowded around him to hear what he had to say. Oh, uh, uh hello. Well, oh, okay. Jesus noticed two empty boats for Andrew and Peter had left them and were washing their nets. Jesus stepped into one of the boats hey, Peter. and asked Peter to take him out into the sea. Aye, aye. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Peter, Now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Uh... But Peter said, We worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time, their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. Whoa! They called to some other fishermen for help. Hey, help! And soon both boats were filled with fish. When Peter realized what happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. Jesus replied to Peter, Don't be afraid. Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. Really? Really. And as soon as they landed, they left their nets and followed Jesus. So Simon Peter became one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed his friend Jesus throughout his time on earth. I loved that story. Jesus asked Peter to follow him. Jesus and Peter were great friends and they got to do amazing and fun things together, like go fishing, eat yummy food, and I think they even had fun laughing and talking together like we do with our friends. But the miracles Peter saw and the things he learned from Jesus were the very best part. Let's color a picture of Peter to remember that Jesus and Peter were friends. Grab your crayons and markers and some paper because it's time to draw with Gus. Hey friends, it's Gus. I'm so excited to draw Peter with you today. Let's get started by drawing a little line in the center of the page here. Draw a line that comes down to here and make one more line that goes down a little bit farther than that. Okay, now back to the shorter line to do a curved line that goes out to make the tip of his nose. And draw one more curved line to connect those two. There it is, his nose. Now we need his eyes. Draw one circle on this side and another on that side. Now add two little circles inside each one. And then fill those in to finish his eyes. Yeah, I think he's looking great. Now let's do his eyebrows. Go above each eye and draw a long squished oval like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And color him in. Nice. Okay, go to the bottom of the right eyebrow and make a little line to the eye. Pretend the line keeps going through the eye, but don't do it. And draw a line from under the eye, down and past the nose to about here. Oh, and do a little line that comes up above the eyebrow. There you go. Now to make his chin, we need to draw an open circle that curves out and around like that. Then go to the side of his other eyebrow over here and do a straight line down to stop just past his eye. Then draw an ear by making a C. Yeah, and do another line down to right here. Great. Now we're ready to finish his beard by drawing little U's all the way down. All right. From the bottom of his nose, 
draw a curved line across his face to the top of his nose. Stop at the nose, and then keep going to the other side, just a little one there. Don't forget to give him a little smile. I like it. Go back to his ear and do a little curve inside. Yeah. Okay, now we can do some hair on the top of his head. So put a little dot right here above his nose. And from that dot, crawl all the way around and do almost a full circle like this. Now we can do some little loops and curved lines all the way around to the other side. Whoa, but be careful not to get dizzy. It's like a roller coaster. Let's finish his hair across his forehead by making a curvy W to connect the last points. Yeah, there you go, it's Peter. Thanks for drawing with me today, guys. See you next time. Great drawings, everyone. Peter and Jesus had fun doing amazing things together, all because Peter decided to follow Jesus. When we follow Jesus, we can be a part of amazing things too. One amazing thing is a church family like we have at SK. I just have so much fun at SK. One of my favorite things is learning more about Jesus and how to love Him and follow Him. That reminds me of a special verse in the Bible about love. I can't wait to show you, but uh-oh. It's covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop all the bubbles so we can read it? Grab some bubbles if you have them and let's pop them. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. The bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people. Keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side! That's it! All right, all right! Keep going, yay! We're almost there! We're at the pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! Okay, ready, go! One, two, three, keep going! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble! Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there! We did it! You helped me pop all the bubbles. Now we can see our Bible verse. Deuteronomy 6, 5 says, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. That means we can love God so much. Let's stand up and sing Deuteronomy 6, 5 together right now. This song is Deuteronomy 6, 5. It's all about how we can love God with everything that we have. So you guys, I want you to sing it out with me. We're gonna sing, You Must Love the Lord Your God. Let's put our hands up like this and get ready to sing. Let's sing that out again. Let's sing Deuteronomy.
I love that song. It reminds me that I can love God with every part of me. One way I show God I love Him is when I go to church to learn more about Him and have fun singing, dancing, watching videos, and being with my friends who love Him too. That reminds me of a really fun video I want to show you. It's time for the We Are SK Game Show. That's right. Let's join Jim, Gift, and Melly and see what today's game is. Let's put on our listening ears and thinking caps and watch this. And these are my contestants and friends. Hi, I'm Jim. And I'm Gift. Hey, Melly, why do we have ponchos and shower caps here? <laughs> it's for the game. <laughs> uh, what game are we playing? You'll find out soon. It's super fun. We're playing an extra fun game today because at SK, we have fun. We do have fun at Saddleback Kids. At SK, you are a part of our church family. We do lots of things like listen to music and watch videos that help us learn about Jesus. Oh, and we play games. I love playing games with my friends at SK. SK is a great place to bring our friends and we can make new friends too. And speaking of friends today, it's time to bring out my very special contestant! Yeah! Hi guys, my name is Gift. And my name is Jim. What are your names? Beckham Brayden. Thanks for coming today, Beckham and Brayden. We love that you are here to play with us. Jim and Gift, it's time for you to get in the ponchos. Uh-oh. It'll be fun. Remember, at SK... We have fun. I know, <laughs> I know. Okay, now put shaving cream all over your head. Shaving cream? It's part of the game. Okay, now Brayden Beckham, grab those bags of Cheetos and your job is to throw the Cheetos on their heads and see how many you can make stick before the Brave song is over. Are you ready? Yes! Friends, remember to cheer them on. Ready, set, go! <laughs> That was very fun. Thanks for playing with us, Brayden and Beckham. Remember, our big idea at SK is we have fun. We really do. Jesus loves you. And so do we. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was an extra fun game today. I love being silly and laughing with you guys when we watch funny videos like that together. It reminds me that church is fun and it's a place where I get to be with people who make me laugh and love me and know me. I want all of my friends to come to SK so they can have fun with me too. Maybe you can be thinking about a friend you want to invite to have fun with you at SK too. Let's say a prayer to Jesus right now and thank him for giving us a special place at church just for kids to have fun. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for giving us a special place at church just for kids called SK, where we can have fun while we learn about you. Help us remember that we are loved by our leaders and friends at SK, and we are always loved by you. We love you so much. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us for Church at Home. We're done with our time here today, but we have fun crafts and activity pages just for you. Just have your grown-up at home help you go to saddlebackkids.com to check it out. Also, we would love to see you in person at one of our campuses. While your grown-up is helping you look at those crafts and activities, check out our campus locations too. We hope to see you soon. And remember, our big idea for today is at SK, I have fun. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.